Hi guys. Welcome to the Smith Family Branch. <laughs> so today I am going to talk a little bit about what happened this weekend. I did record it. I just didn't introduce it. So <laughs> this weekend, Hazel came into heat. And um, we videoed what it looked like when she is to come into heat. A couple of telltale signs will be that um, one, okay, she got out of the pen like three times in the morning and ran right over to where the bowl is. It's like, okay, we think she's in heat, but we're not 100% sure. Um, another reason, or not reason, but way is uh, when I was petting Hazel, I got Neil down right next to her and she tried to jump on me. And I'm not sure if that's like a legit um, reason or way to tell if she's in heat or not, but she only really ever done it when she's in heat because she did it last time she was in heat too. Um, and we knew she was in heat because the bowl was there. Um, that ants all over me, dang it, but I don't want to leave Hazel. Uh, next one would be that the inside of her, I think they, some vul, vulva is, um, pink. All right. I gotta get up because the ants are biting me. Um, okay. I was sitting there for like, Ooh, I got ants in my pants <laughs> for real. Um, oh, Hazel's getting up with me. Goodness. So another reason when I would open up her vulva and it was more pink than it was before. So I had checked her yesterday. Not was it yesterday? No, it was Saturday afternoon, and she was still gray pink, like on the inside. And so I checked, went out and checked her one last time, um, and she was pink. And so I sent that video, and I'm going to show you two the AI tech and the AI tech said, yeah, she's in, in heat. Um, bring her first thing in the morning. So we took her first thing in the morning. Um, so that was yesterday on Labor Day. So she got artificially inseminated on Labor Day. Um, and so if the AI takes, she will be due June 9th. So that ours is our plan. Um, I'm going to show you the video from uh, me checking Hazel and video at the AI tech. Um, he was so informative, let us watch and record the whole thing. And he was just, he was a really good guy. Um, he, well, he seemed like a really good guy. His, his uh, company name is... <clears throat> Fowler Reproductive Services, and he is in Winona, Texas. Um, if you are in the East Texas area, I would highly recommend him. He did a fantastic job, um, and I would, we're definitely going back to him. He is great. So anyways, thanks for watching, and ahead is the video of the me checking Hazel and the AI tech and whatnot. So enjoy. Thanks for watching. Yeah, and look, she's holding her tail out. Yes, look at that. It's like a... It's... I can't tell if it's swollen or not. It does slightly look it like it, but I can't tell. Oh, okay. And then all boys right there. Yeah. And he ran. He ran, yep. Always. You have to just check every day. Yep. Can be sooner than ten. <laughs> it might be. Right? Yeah. Just a little bit. That's swollen, but <laughs> no, it's still. It's still normal. very pink. Yeah. It's a normal. Actually, thing. hold that real quick. Uh, no, All right, it's now it's recording. <laughs> not gonna let me do it. Okay. 
does look more pink than it was earlier. Mm. Too wet, though. Yeah, it is, does look a little bit. But the, the tail is like... She's holding her tail out. And all, yeah, like all of them in there. Yeah, yeah, they all come running when she can win a moo in. Get a lesson in. All right. Yeah. So I looked on my sheet on, on your tank six canister eight for me to find it, and then I looked up a cane code that tells me which one it is. This is 131. Okay. Tank six canister eight. Just, the semen is uh, in the liquid nitrogen, so it's a minus 300 Celsius. Okay. And we're going to go from there wow. to, to 96 to 98 Fahrenheit. JD131. Should be Dapper Dan. Yes. yes. All right, that's what it says. So it sits in there for about 45 seconds. That just cools it down, right? Warms it this up. It warms it up a lot, yeah. yeah. A whole lot. So, with this nitrogen, so what do you have to have a truck to have a nitrogen tank? Or? I have a, a, a guy that comes around and fills them all up. Oh, once well, a month. okay. Most, most people get their spill every other two or three months, but I've got so much liability here, and I'm doing a lot of in real work, and I want my tanks as full as possible. Well, yeah. there, there's a lot of reasons. Yeah. Mm hmm. The safety is the biggest thing for them. Yeah. I worked around a lot of clean rooms and that's just you know, oh, to clean the lines out there. Yeah. And they usually have great big tanks. Yeah. Yeah, these it's all these. This is a shipper tank because we ship around and ship all over the world and things like that. Oh well, no kidding. It's a small tank. Yeah. You know, in a protected case. <laughs> wow, so what you pulled out was just a just draw. Yeah, the straws are stored in the plastic goblets or in the aluminum canes. They're stuck in the canisters if you want to get them. Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah. And the, the embryos are also stored in there. Mm-hmm. So you can see each one of them has, has straws. There's yes, one the straw. Wow. There's a semen in that straw. Now, how many are in there? One, two, whatever those... One, two, right. Three, four, five, six, seven, There's eight, ten of nine, these. Ten. I think yeah. this tank will store about, and it's nearly completely full. If if both the goblets, top and bottom, are full of semen, it can hold about 3,800 units, I think. Wow. wow. Yeah, but but this one's nowhere near. Yeah. Um, the semen can be stored in in half cc straws like we've got here, or quarter cc straws. Now, here is a stored in quarter cc straws, but they take up the whole cane. Yeah. And it's stored in the bottom with a one turned upside down, a got turned upside down to hold it in place so it doesn't float up and get lost in that thing. Now, how did you get into this business? I well, uh, I got a degree in animal science at AM, started AI cows back 30 years ago. And then I managed a large ranch for Germany, I lived in Bremen, Germany, and we were hiring the embryo work done. And uh, the last time I had it hard done, I had terrible success. A good friend of mine, the veterinarian, says, you need to go learn how to do it yourself. Yeah, it is. What? Needle. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm cut the end off. I'm going to put this cover over it. This is going to hold it in place while I, I work through her cervix into the body of the uterus, and then I plunge it. You'll see a bubble come up. And put the semen into her uterus. <laughs> So then you this, in the wintertime it's cold and I want to keep it my body temperature so it's a habit of doing yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. So I do it all the time year round. Sure. Awesome. Okay, okay, okay. I didn't realize the flash was on. Yeah. Pretty rough. Now I go inside and I feel for a reproductive tract. I actually just put my hands around a cervix where I can manipulate the cervix. So I've got to go into the vagina, work through the cervix, and put it into the body of the uterus. Pull the plastic cover back, kept it clean until I get to the cervix. 
working through the cervix now. And every cow cervix is different. It's like a puzzle sometimes. You gotta work through it. Some are real simple and some are extremely difficult. Mm -hmm. I'm about three fourths way through now, putting them up through. Okay, now go a little bit and make sure I'm still there in the end. Plunge it the rest away. So now, if you'll go around front and give yeah. her a kiss and tell her how pretty she is, <laughs> increase conception rate by 25%. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Hazel. <laughs> That's what a bull would do, right? <laughs> yeah. You see the mucus streaming come out of her? That's a very good sign that she was definitely oh. in heat. Really? Man, we were going back and forth like, is she in heat? Is she not in heat? And I was like, oh. Well, the bull started following her. And I was <laughs> He's just too big of a bull for her, so that's why we had to oh, yeah. AI her. This is a famous bull, the Dapper Dan. A lot of people have used him. I've used him really, really different times. I didn't know that. We amongst, just amongst the breed, you know. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah, I didn't know that. All right, that's it. Wow.